So, you may be wondering about the microphone that I use to record my voice. And this is it right here, the blue snowball ice. I use this boy for the voiceover, and it works pretty well. So today, we are sort of going to review this boy. This is not sponsored by the way. But this boy does look pretty nice. Anyways, let's start out with the accessories. It came with this extremely long USB cable. Although it is mini USB, which is kind of unfortunate. I got this pop filter separately. It fits in with this boy pretty well though. Let's get these boys out of here. First, we'll start out with functionality and build quality. This boy is a pretty basic microphone, powered by a custom cardioid condenser capsule with a 40 through 18 kilohertz frequency response and a 44.1 kilohertz slash 16 bit sample slash word rate. Or in normal terms, it's pretty basic. On the back, it has a single mini USB port. It doesn't have a headphone jack to listen to the recording, so this may be a deterrent for some people. It has a red light on the top that turns on when plugged into a computer. For build quality, it's made out of mostly recycled plastic, but it's the nice feeling type of plastic. The blue logo and internal grate are both made of some sort of metal. It also weighs 460 grams and has a 325 millimeter circumference. I think that this boy is pretty well built. It has a screw thing on the bottom for attaching the stand that it comes with. You just screw it on and you're pretty much good to go. The build quality of the stand is pretty good as well. It seems like it would be able to handle a lot. So yeah, this boy is a pretty well built microphone. It is also pretty average when it comes to audio quality and stuff like that. This boy is pretty well rounded. Next, we'll talk about looks and design. Now. When I first looked at this boy online, I thought it actually looked kind of ugly. Something about that round shape just didn't sit right. I gradually came to like the design after a while though. The black color on this boy suits it well. Although, I originally ordered a white one, I received this black one instead. Which was fine, I didn't really care as long as I got a microphone. The back on this boy looks less interesting than the front though. But why would it need to be? You mostly see the front side anyways. The bottom chrome could be a different color though. Like maybe the same color as the blue logo. Also, the little band going the circumference of this boy is a bit strange looking. But this boy is pretty unique looking. There's probably no other mic that looks exactly like this boy. Next, we'll talk about the price which wasn't a lot. I bought this boy for $40 and it came with a stand and the USB cable. This pop filter was bought separately and costed an additional $11. In total, this boy is pretty much $51 combined, which is a good starting price for a starter microphone. The price combined with the build quality and functionality make this boy a pretty well-rounded starter mic. It is also fairly cheap compared to other mics in this category. It's also a pretty reputable brand. The stand is pretty well built like the mic itself. And the cable is plenty long, perfect for a desktop setup, although it is mini USB. So yeah, this boy is a pretty decently priced microphone. Now, my personal experience from using this boy. This boy does work fairly well with Chromebooks, although it's more advertised for Windows and Mac computers. It does occasionally cut out. It also could be caused by the recording software needing Wi-Fi. I found that unplugging it and plugging it back in solves that problem. 
I also already talked about receiving a black one and not a white one, so I'd buy it off the official site next time or at a store. The spherical design is pretty cool. It's just like a snowball, except it would hurt a lot if you got hit by one. So yeah, this boy is a pretty good microphone, at least according to me. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that this boy is a pretty nice microphone. And if you want to see more things reviewed on the channel, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.